You've probably seen pictures of people posing with tigers and other animals in your social media feeds. But this look inside Dade City's Wild Things shows the hidden cruelty of using wild animals as props in photos. Just hours after being born, baby tigers were taken from their mothers. These terrified newborn cubs were carelessly pulled through the metal wires of this cage. It is unlikely that they will ever see their mother again. Just outside the cage, a dead newborn cub was left on the ground. The surviving cubs were then used in money-making photo ops for tourists, including swimming with tigers. Tigers were forced to swim in this pool with patrons, and if they tried to get out, they were sometimes pulled back in by their tails. This tiger, named Ariel, had an apparent neurological condition, but was forced to swim anyway. Here, she frantically paddles to keep her head above water. Cubs were forced to participate in encounters, even when they were desperate to get away or rest. This white tiger cub named Luna was howling and crying, trying to get away, but was continually yanked back by the neck. Luna was also repeatedly hit by a trainer and even shoved into a pool during a training session. And she wasn't the only one to be struck or roughly handled behind closed doors. Once the tigers grew too large to be used in encounters or as props in photos, they were confined to tiny wire cages like these or sold or transferred to other facilities. It's likely that for the rest of their lives, they will have nothing to do at all but sit and stare. Other animals at the facility fared no better, suffering from psychological distress, illness, and a lack of veterinary care. These are the behind the scenes horrors that are commonplace in zoos offering encounters or photo ops with wild animals. Please share this video. And the next time your friends post a picture of themselves posing with a wild animal, let them know the hidden cost of their photo op. Thank you.